Welcome to another tutorial on Superimpose. In this video, I will explain how to load and save photos in Superimpose app. As you already know that we can work with two photos in Superimpose app at a time. One background and one foreground. We can import both of them by tapping this import button at the top left corner. The menu here gives an option to create a fresh project or to add a background from any of the photo sources listed below. Create new project option, deletes the current project, if there is any. And loads a fresh new background. Or you can use any of these buttons below to add a background image. You can also add the background and the foreground photo, using this, add layer, menu over here. This is more useful in the Superimpose X app. Because it is not for replacing, but for adding more and more layers into the project. Superimpose can pick a photo from five different sources. Photos lets you pick up photos from your camera roll. Stock will let you search and pick photos from stock's photos that the app comes with. Mask library would let you pick them from the mask library, the library of cutouts that you have saved before. Colors is the place where you can select a solid color or color gradient. Paste lets you pick the photo that you copied from some other app into the device's pasteboard. Although the options are listed here, you can change it even when you are inside the photo browser. For example, let us start with photos. It takes me to my camera roll. I can now see my albums below and all the photos in the selected album here. I can select a photo from here or I can change the source of the photo by selecting a different photo source from the list below. Let us go to the stocks section. Here I can search for stock photos. Let me search for the keyword. Morning. I can see relevant photos from the stock listed out here. I can choose any one of them as my background. In the mask library, you can see I have a couple of cutouts or stickers saved from my previous projects. Now let's go to the colors section. Here you can select a solid color or color gradient image. You can change the color by tapping the round button below. To choose a gradient, tap on the square buttons above. When you select a gradient, you can choose both the colors used in the gradient. You can also use a custom dimension of the photo, just by tapping on the selected thumbnail. You tap on the little link image here to enable or disable the fixed ratio between the width and the height of the image. Once selected, you can tap the accept button here to load it. But we do not want this background. We can use the same menu option to replace it. Let us now use the paste option. As we can see, we do not have any image copied into the pasteboard. Let us go to photos app and copy an image. Okay, we have copied this image, now let's go back to Superimpose app. As expected, the copied photo now appears here. We can go ahead and load it. We can crop the photo before loading if we want to. Once we have a background image loaded, the import menu now offers an additional option to add a foreground image. We can use the same image sources to load a foreground. For the foreground, let's use the mask library option. Select the mask and then press the accept button to load it. As you can see, the image is already masked. I did it in a previous project and saved it as a mask in the mask library. We can now reuse it. Let me change the blend mode to make the baby look as if she is inside the bubble. And then place her inside it. and our project is ready to be saved. To save the image, I will press this export button over here. You can see a couple of options. The save option will save the superimposed image into the camera roll. Share and open with options can be used to share the image via email, or airdrop etc., or to open the image, in a different app. You can also choose the file format in which you want to save the file into your camera roll. There are two buttons here to save the masked foreground image. It can be saved into the camera roll as a PNG file using this button here, which retains the transparency. It can also be saved into the built-in mask library for later use using this button. 
I am going ahead with the save option to save the blended image into the camera roll. That is all in this tutorial. Thank you for watching.